This is a short video tutorial on how to move large audio or video files using Dropbox and also then uh, setting it so that the person receiving the audio or video will get a download link to download that uh, mp3 or mp4 or any other audio video format. So in Dropbox you will have a public folder. The great way to use a public folder is to transfer one-off files to um, other people, to your clients or customers. Now you can see that I've got Dropbox installed on my computer and there's the public folder. If you're using the browser version, if you just click on files you'll see the public folder there. So the first thing you want to do is get your audio or video file which I've got sitting on my desktop here and put it in to your public folder. So I've just opened up my public folder and I'll just drag it and drop it. I'm just using a very small mp3 file. Okay so just remember too when you're copying or when you're moving files from your computer to Dropbox generally they will move they won't copy so if you want to keep a copy on your computer then you should create a copy and then move the copy into Dropbox okay so it's in Dropbox I just need to right mouse click on it and copy public link and that will copy it to my notepad so I'll just open up notepad here and paste it in so you can see what it looks like. So that's the file, the mp3 file and this is the public folder URL there. Now what happens though when you share that URL the person receiving it will actually get a um, playable version in the browser. Let me just show you what happens. Um, so if I'm if I go and paste that URL in there, well, obviously it's not uploaded yet, so we'll just wait a minute and I'll come back. Okay, so it's uploaded now. Let's have another go. Paste the URL into the browser, and what should happen is we'll get an MP3 player that will play. There we go. So it's not actually letting me download the mp3 but what you can do is just excuse me <laughs> if um, if you just paste this little this little bit of code here onto the end of the URL there so it's question mark DL equals one so basically that's saying download once so if you copy that URL now which has the question mark DL equals 1 on the end paste that in and what it will do is actually bring up the download dialog here we go so it's actually downloading so it's forcing the download into um, it depends on on the recipient's browser but this will download into my downloads box okay so there you go it's that simple if you're using the browser version of the public folder you would just a very very similar approach just go and find the video or the audio just click on it and then copy public link so you've just highlighted it and then copy public link that's the public link there put on the end question mark DL equals one copy that and um, that will then become the, the URL for the browser so if I paste it in there yeah. and it's downloading again ok if you've got any questions um, leave them with this video it might seem crazy what I'm about